Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. Not a topwater edition, but this is where we catch largemouth bass and I show you how to have fun catching largemouth bass. So buckle up and hang on, it's gonna be a good one. Bass and Bonsai, topwater edition, not Top Gun edition. That was last week, yesterday was Top Gun Wingman edition. Today, oh yeah, we're lone wolf. That sun is not up and over them treetops. Old Bill Dance, he's still home asleep. We're gonna get out here and catch some largemouth bass, hopefully on top water. So buckle up, hang on, let's do it. Still a little chilly, so I'm actually gonna put my uh, pump cover on, which the gym rats call their pump covers. It's, it's just a hoodie, but I'm gonna put that on and we're gonna get out here and I'm gonna put you guys on the chesty so you won't miss any of the action if I get a good top water hit. So buckle up and hang on. This top water adventure starts now quick rundown hopefully you can make that out there's stuff already out here kind of working a little bit but we have dead like slick calm sometimes that's tough for top water but we got 73 degree water temps it is 553 i've been here since about 535 540 doing little different things rigging up all these rods look at that out there we've got everything except two baits that have worms are uh top water rigged up Quick little rundown. We've got the Zillion, the Lingle, Crowdo BFS, the uh, Joker. We've actually got the Alpha's Air or Alpha's Edo AI, Dark Wolf Ultra. We've got the uh, Silver Creek and the Airstream Custom. Right? We are loaded for bear. Right? I'm gonna make a cast right here. Oh yeah, right there. If I'm gonna catch a topwater frog, it'll probably be right here. Come on. Oh, and I missed that topwater frog. Oh my God. Here's what we got going on. Sun is, it's coming. There's no stopping that sun. Trust me, you don't want the sun to stop anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna spin back around. The highlight of this whole topwater deal has been one blow up right over here and nothing. Through a chatterbait, nothing. So, I have the firm belief that that fish is still right over there and more from this week, last week, whatever. So I'm hooked on a feeling. that maybe we can I'm seeing something big Got it. Jeez. I got it. Come on. Oh! Come on, feeling. Don't let me down. Oh, it's going around the wood. Come on. It's going. No. Get up there. Ah. Hooked on the feeling. Oh, come on. No, baby, don't. Come on. <laughs> Woo! Top water just was not going. Don't do it to me, feeling. Oh. Come on. Whoa! It's the Joker rod, the feeling light. Oh my God! That's a that's a giant. Oh, right there in the sun. Oh my God! Look at this monster bass. Get over here. No, 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 no. Get, no, 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 no. Don't you do it to me. Don't you do it. Get up here. Oh, oh, could this be the same one? Oh, let me 
gonna spin you guys around. <laughs> Let's get into the light and out away from that spot. Look at that, jeez. Oh my God. Charles, <laughs> Charles just caught one like this yesterday and we didn't have it on, uh, we ran out of footage. All right, I got the scale. I hate really doing this. I hate messing around with big fish for too long. I like to just catch them, turn them loose, but I know everybody wants to know, what did it weigh, what did it weigh? So, remember, look at that high, it says 12 ounces, Jesus. These scales are junk. Me and Charles. Try it again, zeroed out. Now it says 5'9". Remember, I add 4 ounce, so this is almost a 6 pounder. Charles caught one just like this yesterday, and we did the same thing. We guessed his about 6'1". 5'9 and 4 would make it actually what this scale showed Charles as being 5'13". So, Charles, you beat me this weekend by a little bit. I was a day late and a dollar short, right? All right, guys. One last look at this beautiful largemouth bass. Came Let's out of that see spot last. if old girl's going to jump. Probably not. You never know. You never know if she's a jumper or not. I'm pretty sure I rocked her world. She's not going to jump. Swam off. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, I was trying topwater video. It's dead calm. Top water it was not worth because that worm is deadly in this spot right here. Whew, I gotta catch my breath. I joke around. Am I getting too old for this? No, this is fun. This is a workout, but a fun workout, right? More fun than the gym. And before I get out of here on this thing, let's just talk real quick. If you haven't checked out the video where I switched the handle, oh, I need to wash my hands. Where I switched out these handles on all like I got five rods now with the same handle basically just for overall look feel and all that but this is the feeling that lure star rod that I do recommend people ask me I mean I know it's Aliexpress just like a, a JDM type deal you don't get truly get a good warranty but some of them stores are actually pretty good I have found that they'll try to work with you so I'm not saying you couldn't get a free replacement tip but they could probably hook you up on a decent deal if you broke a tip or something like that but this is a hundred and i think like 34 dollar rod shipped to you comes with a different handle if you've seen the old videos you know what i'm talking about but this is an awesome rod i've got the quick i probably will be buying i don't know when the sharp and then the powerful the powerful will definitely be cut down on the handle to shorten it as short as i can get it with the handle roughly about this length that's about the length of handles that's just what i like that's all personal preference, really, but the rods come just fine. So let's go. Actually, I put the girls. I think this is a lucky hoodie that I need to have on because I just caught that big bass right out of here. And then uh, for make, I wanted to make an intro type deal, so I took the hoodie off. And then anyway, I tried to make a couple other little things, and it's been like bad luck. So it's not even. I mean, I feel comfortable. It's not really like warm, but it's not. I'm not cold. But I'm putting this back on. I had no intentions of putting it back on. Wind has, we had, we do have some wind, but I'm putting this back on. And we're probably going to go hit this bank over here uh, with a couple different things. Chatter baits and maybe little square bills. But out here, because other than that one bath, there's just a, not a lot in there. We missed a big giant over there. But we're going to hit that area later on today. So anyway, topwater edition, it's gone. We are flat out just trying to catch some largemouth bass, so let's go. Buckle up and hang on. Round two. Let's go. My God, this took forever. I had stopped recording. That fish is going to wind up going down the spillway. Get out of there. Jesus. Did you see him? I tried to catch a fish on this setup. I was over there in the shallow water. How big is this bass? He's going from the spillway to the shallows. 
Gone, baby. Gone, baby, gone. Look out there. Ah, you're hooked on a feeling. Feels believing. Ooh, I think you're in love with me. Oh, come get your mouth open, you crazy fish. Boys and girls, that struggle is real. That is only the second bass of the day. I've been here an hour. I think I finally figured something out. I know. Slow learner, right? Okay, we got a pick. I'm sure this is going to be a jumper. And we'll get back over there. Try to catch some more. Whoa. Okay. I keep telling Charles we need to... Uh, to really gross you guys out. You guys kind of know I'm in the gross out business too. I'll mess with you guys when I something just nasty on a fish. I'll do like a close up on it. But I uh, thought about catching a crappie. Oh, there's, I'm getting a hit. I got a fish. Come on, feel it. Whoa, that may, that's another nice chunk. Yep, we're on a pattern now, boys. They're up on this dam. Anyway, you guys comment if you'd like to see me and Charles actually just catch a crappie, you know, euthanize it of course but fillet that crappie and eat sushi right then and there Whee! we don't do it to bass as we're not cannibals to catch a bass you need to be the bass right so therefore if you eat the bass you're a cannibal i wish i had more green of in this worm i may try a sprayed grass also If I want to, if I want to get out here and work it faster. Oh, there's a hit. I got one. He's way out here. If, if, oh boy. Oh, that's a good little chunk. That's why I like this feeling rod. They put up, even that little dude felt nice. Sometimes that Tatula. We'll make short work of these dudes. Wee! All right, we're on some. We're on something. Hey, boys and girls, we're on something. I guess I didn't mention. I just assume you guys all know by now. But for those of you new to the channel, I use P Line Original, ten pound test uh, leader, probably six foot. The, you know my what I call my wingspan. I spread my arms out. That's the length I use. Typically works, and I shorten it up. Once it gets about three foot, I I'll try to switch, but 10 pound braid, uh, 16th ounce VMC uh, finesse rugby jig. It's a, sh you know, they call it finesse rugby. It's a shaky head jig, 16th and an 8th ounce. That's the only two sizes I ever use. I do run snaps. Uh, try to get by with the smallest possible, but their ratings are weird. But anyway, so that's what we're using the uh, Z Man watermelon and white. I call it baby bass. Uh, zinkers and like for this kind of fishing what we're doing right now you kind of want a newer one with the 16th ounce but if you are in real grassy and real super shallow stuff you'll get that worm old but uh, I'll, I'll explain more about that later if I catch a couple more fish so oh there's a hit too oh there was a that was a little bump but anyway, if I catch another fish, I'm going to explain this. Uh, one thing about fishing in clear water, you can make out what your baits are doing a little more. I'm going to slow down. But we, we found out that, I mean, it's not that we found out. We kind of always knew, but you can really see it taking place when you're in that clear water that as these worms get older... They float with the 16th ounce weight. This will literally, an oh, old, worn out one will bob up and down and won't even sink when you first start using it. 
but you can pull it underwater and basically kind of the air pockets are basically filling with water so then it'll sink so you can almost kind of you know have your fall rate ad adjust it with an old worn out zinkers a brand new one is going to sink it's impregnated with a ton of salt and it's heavy and it actually casts easier and sinks faster so there's different levels to that none of your other stick baits have unless they're like that elastic with all that salt you can basically create whatever you know if you want to try to fine-tune what that what you want that worm to do a lot of times it don't even matter you just throw it out let it hit bottom kind of wiggle it and bam fish on right but if that bite gets tough because a lot of times I use this like a soft jerk bait I'll just throw it out especially like on the 16th and an old worn out one I'll throw it out and I'll just kind of jerk it around and just like a jerk bait I, that's when I'm all in pretty clear water when it's usually murky like this I don't even try to mess with that I just throw it out and then I just get in a speed of what I feel like I'm jiggling it back to me pretty much on bottom I've almost abandoned hard baits but I'm gonna try this little bitty Perberos just here and there There we go. There we go. Stay on. We are tired of losing fish, right boys and girls? Nice little chunk. Oh, get over here. Get over here. Oh, he's gonna, oh, he's bar oh he is barely hooked. No, 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 no. Oh. Well, he rehooked himself. That's a little fatty. Little bitty fatty. Let me get you unhooked. That little. That dude was hooked for sure. All right, we got a pick. Look at that beautiful shot. Let's see. We got a jumper though. I think this is gonna be a jumper. I think, I think, I think, yeah. Oh, no. Uh oh, yeah, you wanted to. Come on. See, I've re caught that fit. It starts to jump. Come on, in your face. In your. Oh, he was so close. I don't know. You can get several different sizes of. Square bills, like when I want to go deeper, those mega bass ones or the mega bass. There's a fish right there. Or the mega bass knockoffs. Oh, that's a good. That's a good one. Oh my God. The you guys, I can't even tell how good because the sun is like right there. That is a nice fish. Two pounder maybe. I'm gonna turn this boat so we can see it. Oh, he's trying to spit it out. Do not spit that out. No, that is only a pound and a half. Get. That fish, eh, maybe close to two, but that fish was putting up a fight. So we are on it. Our top water was game all game over before it was ever thought about being game on. How is this fish hooked? But. This deal right here is game on. Game on, boys and girls. Let me get a shot here, show you guys. Out in the sun. Well, that sun is weird today. So for the love of Pete, dude, we need a jumper. What do you say? Come on, there you go, there you go, there you go. Keep going, you had it. You had it. Jump right in the boat. Come on. That dude wants to jump. Everything in his body wants him to jump. Come on. Come on. Uh 
Oh, that was so close. Man, I'm getting rusty at this jumping. That, I take that back. That one did. Oh, we just need to move, right? Got a feeling. Come on. Whoa, right into the trolling motor. Oh, boy. Look out. And that's why this feeling. Can I boat flip him? Oh, boy. That's why I like this filling rod. It's an awesome rod. It lets the fish put up a little fight, but it's still a capable rod. Look at that. Let's we got that cannibalistic dog. Look at him. Look at you. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You better jump. Are you going to be a jumper? If you don't jump, I'm telling your mama after I catch her. Water feels a little cool. Oh, come on. Get out of here, showstopper. Oh. Oh, you thought you were gone, didn't you? You thought you were gone. Oh, look at you. Yes. That's the little guys. They can do it. They know what they're doing. You may need to break out. You may need to break out a white chatterbait, but before I do, I'm going with what is a little bit brighter in my mind. Like overall, just a brighter chatterbait. I'm going to try it. Then I'm going to try the, uh, my new favorite color, basically try that one because I think I did catch a fish on it last week here maybe I can't remember so many trips so little memory <laughs> yeah. there we go. oh I pulled that sucker dang this rod is powerful I yanked that fish completely out of the water well I made him cross-eyed, literally. There we go. Feed them what they want, right? Giant, largemouth bass. You don't want to kiss this, but you do want to see if it jumps. And you see how these fish are different color? Oh, that fish is a definite jumper. Get out there. Get out there. We got another jumper. Oh, no, no. Oh, gosh, I missed out. Missed opportunity. That was definitely jumping material. You see how, like, I don't know, that fish, you need uh, these crazy bright or like a white, honestly, in my opinion. When, it, when the fish are white like that, you need brighter baits or white baits, and it's kind of a toss up on what they will or won't hit. But this bait stands out for sure. Okay, and you can usually tell if I'm on a tough bite, you see me switching 50 million different baits. Cause it's weird like you'll you'll get something first third cast whatever fish and then you'll go a half hour and not another bass so i've got on a little streaks okay we got it we're on to something now maybe we're definitely on to spot a fish but we could be onto a bait that is going to tear them up today look like the same dude little white devil Look, wee! Awesome, you are awesome, dude. You're awesome. This bait's awesome. This rod is uh, the quick is deadly. Let's just say that the quick is deadly. Long cast. I don't know. I almost throw all the line at the crowd will hold ten pound cast. But I don't know if it's you definitely tell I'm getting a little more distance out of that other combo. Kind of for two reasons. A little stouter rod and uh, definitely a better, like heavier bait distance pool. That SD3 over a Crotto BFS pool. But that's the bait. You guys just saw it right there. I cast that one at least once or twice. You can get a hit right where we caught the others with this bait. I pull another one out, kind of a different angle. So I think this bait, it's game on. That color right there, I don't even know the name of that color. Wee! But it, Charles, thank you very much, Charles. I was ready to take this off, put a black and blue, just so I'd have a black and blue with the gold blade. And Charles, like, I like that color. He goes, I think that color would work. Guess what? It worked awesome yesterday, and it's working awesome today. Let's go. Okay.
Okay, so sometimes it's just a matter of finding the color of bait. Right? You're like, ah, those cheddar baits aren't that good. Like, what colors do you try? White one. What did you try? No, that's all I got. Cheddar baits suck. <laughs> like, okay. All right. Now, a lot of times it's specific colors. Sometimes it's just shades of colors. Like if, you know, and I, that's the way I feel. Like in the color spectrum, you might all have your favorites kind of thing, but a black and blue, a June bug, purple haze, those are all like in that same, like a dark color I consider. And then you've got your, you know, just white or white and chartreuse, stuff like that. But then you'll have your natural kind of colors on you know like soft plastic kind of things now on like hard baits you can have almost like a you can kind of get real into the realistic shiny ones or the flashy ones you know that flash or the ones that are like a doll paint i mean you can go crazy color wise but most any bait soft plastic hard Chatter baits, spinner baits, crank baits, worms. If you have like a dark color, a bright color, and a natural color. Now you can fine tune which ones in your body the water kind of thing, but like this right here. Sun is out. I mean it's cloudy off and on, but the sun's basically out, but I'm using a gold blade. Typically you would you wouldn't use gold. Uh, bladed stuff when the sun's out that you use silver when it's uh, you know cloudy darker a lot of guys that's when they say gold but I'm I don't know I'm finding that like gold is a it's just when silver ain't working guess what gold will work so if the bites off on what you normally use change it up and uh, last thing I'll say here before I, I guess I'll save this footage and put it in the video since we didn't catch a bunch of fish <laughs> the other factor that you have to remember you come out here like I have like I do and that's why I'll you know colors will change for me I'll come out here with black and blue and I'll tear them up here I'll tear them up somewhere else and wherever I'm fishing well, if I fish a season, two seasons, three seasons, guess what? I pressure that color out of working right, basically. I pressure the fish, and that color may still work, but it, it's probably, I've taken it out of being the best color that will work the best. It's the color that they haven't seen yet. They don't even know they really like it or want it. It's usually what, you know, like this color right here. I've never thrown this color anywhere I fish on a uh, chatterbait. I've thrown... That is kind of close to the, like a, some of the jigs I've thrown, you know, with that orange. But I, I don't know, I, I just always, the Bayou Crawl was kind of a yellow belly. Nothing was really an orange. Now I have run, I guess not too far from this, because I have run like orange trailers on my Bayou Crawl at various times. But I felt it was never real great, but I, it was never with a gold blade either. So the gold blade and the combination of all that together, you know, maybe what it has them triggered. And it could just be this week or whatever. It could kick in and work the rest of this season. But the more fish I catch with it on the bodies of water I fish, I guess the less potent it will be. Some baits just work, you know, colors work all the time. But other, almost, let's say the word fad. It's like the fad that is... They want it, and then they don't want it. Sometimes you'll get those colors. Like I feel when I first started using uh, Sweet Beaver, uh, I think I really had two colors. I think I had June Bug and uh, the... Uh... Whoa, as a catch fish, watermelon red, red flake that had the little tips were red. And those two colors, like that's all I needed. For probably a season or two or maybe even three but guess what those got to the point where look at that I got that fish it went through his mouth hooked it into its deal 
and had him. Get, get out of there. Whee! These are all males, so something... It's almost like they're... Where did he tie that bait up? I'd swear, after catching the big one, it's almost like I'm pulling the big ones off of their bed still. And the males are out moving. I don't know what is going on here. They surely have already spawned, and that's done, I would think. Okay, one more for him, and then I'll go to the other. One more for the other, and then we're going to move on. That's not the shot. But while it's that close, I'll go ahead and ride it out. Oh, that was, I thought that was a bump. Okay, that's not the shot. Let's try this guy one more time. That's the shot right there. Oh boy, that's going to be a bass. That might be, oh, come on right there. Come on. Come on. There he is. Oh! Okay, so. Well, that's a good chunk. Get up here. So maybe color's not as important and I just set and led you guys to believe. But this is a good color too. Right? Awesome color. Did I get a picture with this rod and a fish? I don't know. Okay, got a pick. Do we have a jumper? Sure we do. I was about ready to throw him in, but I think he's actually going to be a jumper. He started wiggling my hands, kind of talking to me, telling me that, hey, Charlie, I want to jump. I want to... He lied. He's a liar. Okay. We've caught several fish today. It's been, been, been a good day. Uh, still not 100% sure what I would say the best bait is, but we've caught them on chatterbaits. The worm. We even caught one on a little chatterbait. And I think we only caught one on the crank. So crankbaits aren't really, but I haven't really thrown them a lot in their defense. I haven't really thrown a lot of crankbaits. You know me, chatterbaits are the way to go when you hit them. I do like that. fish that could be a nice one that's a good one it's another big one. Oh boy back the boat up that's a big fish don't come off oh what is going on here that fish is hooked weird is it or just I guess it looked weird because his mouth was shut oh boy another big fish on the feeling oh my Get over. Oh, don't jump. Not as big as the one this morning, but a good big, big bass. Get over here. He's going behind us. Ooh, it's like, see ya. Get. Get. Get over here. We want to look at you. It's not as big as the first one. Oh, get over here. But that is a chunk. <laughs> Woo! That's a chunk. I think I'm going to end this with a showstopper because I think I'm going to get out of here. I got a lot of stuff to do. I'm going to leave them biting here. I just hit this last week, this week, a couple weeks ago. I'm going to give them a breather and call that good. Mm, beautiful largemouth bass. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, we started with the giant. I'm gonna end it with the giant. Caught it on the feeling, uh, and I'm gonna give you a little, uh, I guess, precursor, prequel to checking out a video of the feeling versus the tetan, right? Let's see if this guy'll jump, and I'll talk briefly just a second more about that. This beautiful giant, large mouth, this is a female. I'm gonna kiss this one. I'm gonna get out of here. Our little showstopper did the deal. Can it jump? Jump right over that rod. Come on. Come on, girl. 
This is gonna jump. She's gonna jump. She's gonna jump. I'm talking to her. Oh yeah. I got her going. Oh yeah, she's building up momentum. She's got the steam. She got it. Come here. She about she about got away. We're gonna make her jump. Come on. She is not going for it. She gonna jump. Girl, this ain't Scott Martin. Get out there and jump. We ain't gonna like belly rub you and throw you. Look at that. Swam off. Alright. Anyway, get out of here. Go bass bonsai. But whatever you do, make sure you have fun doing it. Stay tuned. The feeling versus the tetan. Who will win? There's really only one test left to do if you guys, you know, give you a little uh, precursor type deal. We need to see which one will throw the lightest, right? Will the feeling go down as low as a tetan? Stay tuned for that video. It's coming up. I'm going to do it right now, then I'm getting out of here. But we're going to leave them biting. I'm done. I'm done fishing. I'm going to do a little uh, test with that. Look for that video. Whew. Topwater was non-existent. I think this topwater shirt, I'll be honest. This topwater shirt, boys and girls, I know. I hate to do it. I hate to do it. This top water shirt is non-existent because it's a luck thing. I am not having any luck on top water when I wear this shirt anymore, and it is freaking totally worn out. All right, <laughs> get out of here. I'm going to do a test on my mental stability. I felt just like Hulk Hogan or the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Yeah, I'm snapping to a Slim Jim. Hey, look, they got a new spokesperson for Slim Jim.